Hi, hello, I'm Mandy. Right, today I'm going to do a reading, a tarot card reading on J.D. Vance. I've written it down here and it's like, how did J.D. Vance's childless cat lady comment go down with the mass population of women voters? So let's ask the cards about that. That misogynistic comment. Like, what was it? Childless cat lady comment. And now he's saying, well, I've got cats. Like, I'm, child I'm not childless, I've got kids. But what's wrong with that? Do you know what I mean? They're like saying, like, let's let the next generation take care of that. I need to take care of this first. What's wrong with that? Why shouldn't we? Men can decide whether they want children or not. So why shouldn't women be able to? So why should that stop them being entitled to vote? I mean, I mean, I do agree that you know, with the taxes, women should, who have got kids should pay less. Women have children; they need the money; they should pay less in taxes. I do agree with that. But I mean, as far as voting is concerned, and being, you know, what did he say? They're not paying their dues because they're not getting pregnant and making more babies. What do they want more babies for? Money, that's why. Money and you know what else. I don't have to say, I don't want to say. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Do you know what I mean? America's not going to run out of people. If that's what they're worried about. Who do they think they are playing God? It's not up to them. It's not up to anyone else apart from the Lord above, okay? The source that made us, that created us, says when the next one of us is going to come along. It's not down to J.D. Vance or Donald Trump or the MAGA Republican Party. It's down to God. And if God, God willing, you want, you know what I mean? We all have free will, and who the hell are they to want to take it away? So what, uh, you know, let me see. I mean, these cards could be picking up my energy now, but even still. Yeah, I mean, he's upset a lot of people when I want to ask the cards about this. So what's the fallout from his cat lady comment? J.D. Vance. <laughs> oh, the only thing that makes him look manly is his beard. Right, got a card. Okay. No, I don't know what way this came out because, and I'm thinking the only way to interpret this card is upright. You know, considering the given the question I asked, so it's the Eight of Cups. They're going to withdraw. The women are going to now withdraw away from. They're going to let go of the MAGA women anyway. The Republican women are going to withdraw. A withdrawal. Because it fell out of the and I seen it in the corner of my eye and it spun around and then landed on the floor. It spun. So I did see that. So uh anyway, even do you know what I mean? They they think that being with him would be abandoning their dreams to stay with him. You know. So they're more moving away from him. They think he's a cynic and a manipulator and it's an abuse of power. And this is what it is. Who the hell does he think he is? And how much truth is in what he says he, anyway? I mean, his wife looks, she, you know, she's quite a, um, a career orientated woman. She doesn't stay at home. She's got a job. She goes out, but you know what I mean? I mean, she's not tied to the kitchen sink with babies around her feet. 
because they, you know, I mean, she's got a good job. So it's not doesn't affect her, but I mean, a lot of women that are living on the breadline can't afford to have a career and, you know, walk work in Walmart as well as you know pay for childcare, which is not cheap. And it's quite expensive. Now they're talking about taking preschool away. That was the only way. I lived in America and that was the only way I could afford to be able to put Shuri in, in preschool when she was two years old. She loved it. Was to, you know, when I could then go to work. Do you know what I mean? They're talking about taking that away. And that was expensive, but it was a good one. You know what I mean? It was a cheap... It was okay, it wasn't too bad. I lived in Fresno, so the prices were a bit better there. But anyway, you know what I mean? He's, he, he hasn't got a clue. He really hasn't got a clue. So this is how they see him. They see him as a manipulator, and is, he's abusing his power, and he's also a coward and a cynic. He will face accountability for what he said. You know? The women are standing up for themselves. I got justice. This will be his cause and effect. Justice served. They're going to walk away from him. And I can guarantee there's more women than there are men in this race. In the past, it's like they see women see it as it's run its course now. He's greedy, it's overripe, but the bounty withers through neglect. We got the um, Empress in reverse. He lost with the latest words he's been coming, the statements that he's been coming out with lately since he got all big headed because Trump nom nominated him to run for his VP. He's got a refusal to self-examine, a refusal to face reality. Yeah, this is what women think. He's got, you know, he needs to face reality. He's not facing reality. Uh, you know. So they want to detach from him, reclaim their power. And break free. This is the near future. Breaking free from the him. From the chains of the devil. MAGA women are going to break free. So I asked. MAGA Republicans. Women. Breaking free. Because you know. He has a refusal to face reality. And self examine. Do you know what I mean? He needs to kind of, you know, wisen up a little bit. Too busy playing politics. Hey, hey, I mean, when they're going to take politics out of the playground, this is what it's like. It's like a bunch of kids. You know, it's a who can say the best thing, who can have the best quip, who can have the best nickname. What's this new one, D-E-I? Desirable, energetic, and inspirational. Is that what DEI means? Because if it does, it's perfect for Kamala Harris. Yeah. Desirable, energetic, energizing, and inspirational. Uh, shove that up there and smoke it. So that's the next card. Self-imposed restrictions, isolation or bonds to be soon to be broken. Self-honesty brings change. Okay. 
So now they're analysing what he said. They're looking at it and they're thinking, hang on a minute. This is scary. That's a scary man. Who the hell do they think they are? Who do they think they are? He has misguided passion. He is ignorant and he has hidden agendas. He's secretive and superficial. So women are starting to listen to their inner voice now. They're not going to be fooled anymore by this charming man who used to be charming and has all of a sudden turned into this rat. It's a swamp, isn't it? He's a rat. So hopes and fears is that he's emotionally immature, he's irresponsible and manipulative. No, right, so they want to be aware of deceit and betrayal. Okay. They need to sidestep the obstacle, and he is an obstacle. Um, Trump, you made the wrong choice, mate. What made you think picking someone like you was going to work? Because he's going to have one, have one better, one over you every single time. Because he's just like you. <laughs> You're playing Russian roulette. People see this. They can see that's who he is. That's who he is. He's a thief. He's got negative energy gaining techniques and he will suck your energy out of you like a vampire. Because that's who he is. He'll say whatever it takes to get him wherever he needs to go. He's ruthless. He creates tower, power, terror. And he's power hungry. And he may live a double life. So people were looking. They're going to retreat from him. And they're going to use prudence and, and take some time to look at soul search. Look at what they truly want. They don't want to be limited and have these limitations that restrict them. They want to be free. Free to be who they want to be. Because this he would call his family commitments. He's ruined his reputation. It's a toxic environment. There's a balance between work and family commitments. That's what they see. Imbalance between work and family commitments. It wouldn't, you know, I mean, what are you talking about, man? He's got blocked intuition. He has dark feelings. He's moody and insensitive. That's how women see him. Come on, United States of America. You can do it. I have the strength and the courage and the power and his perseverance, endurance and compassion. You have. Subdue your inner demons and do the right thing. You know what to do.
severe ties separate and break away and clearing the ground for the new there you are you're walking away he's losing there you go another loser just like Trump that's what you get for messing with the feminine energy Big head. Vance. Shady Vance. Anyway, sorry about banging my cards on the table, but I really do, I tell you what, <laughs> me? I can't be talked to like that. I can't be talked down to like that. And I can't see anyone else and having those rules put in place, things like that. Wow. No, 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 not in America. No, not in America. Okay, so until next time, hope you enjoyed that. I'm Mandy. Give me a thumbs up and like and just subscribe. Leave a comment. Okay, until next time. Bye-bye.